wasn't sure that gymnastics was going to be the best fit for Bristol. Gymnastics is hard work, and as a toddler, I would ask her to do something and she would put a thumb in her mouth and twirl her tiny ponytail with her other hand and fall to the floor. Bristol has amazed me with her transformation into a hardworking, committed, and really beautiful gymnast. and mommy and me classes. And then I did preteen, and then we moved to Hawaii where I did well, competed level threes and four. And then we moved to Tennessee and I competed level four and five, and now I'm gonna do six. I love it so much, I just keep moving on the levels and keep going. I like these three skills on different events. On bars, I really like doing free up almost handstand because they're really fun and I'm so close to handstand. On beam, I like doing back handsprings on the high beam because they're scarier than the first one but it makes you ready for the rest of the day and they're really fun too. I also like doing round off back handspring back layouts on the floor because they're just really fun to me. And my favorite events are beam and floor. to in competing is showing off what I worked hard on and also cheering on my teammates and them cheering me on. I also like when me or my teammate gets a really good score because it sets a good mood for the rest of the day. lesson I've learned over the past nine years is keep trying even if you don't think you should. If you think you should quit gymnastics, you probably shouldn't. And when you don't, you realize you get all these memorable moments and you can do all this crazy stuff. Also, work hard and you'll get to go where you want in life. If you work hard in conditioning, it will make you better at all the other events, which will get you the scores you want. And also, get you where you want to be in gymnastics. Also, never disrespect your coaches. Because if you disrespect your coaches, they will yell at you and be in the mad mood for the rest of the time. I've never disrespected a coach before, but I know other levels have, and it puts the coaches in a bad mood for us. What I love most about being on the gymnastics team is the friends that I've made. They always cheer you on, they always have your back, and they become more than friends. They're my best friends, and they're almost like family to me. I don't just see them in the gym, I also see them at my house, in the store, everywhere I go. I'm always with them, and I love them so much.
I know Bristol's a different kid here than she is at home or by herself. For me here, Bristol um, just is really funny. She keeps you on your toes. She can be timid and quiet here, which I know is definitely not how she is. Um, but she definitely knows how to turn it on when it counts and she just lets it all come out. Um, I guess my one word for Bristol and she just shows it when she's doing her floor, her beam, she shows up just how personable she is. So this team has spoiled me <laughs> because they're just so easy to work with. If you're having a bad day, they put you in a better mood. You know that even if it's gonna be a bad day, they're gonna try their hardest, even if they're not successful. And um, there's not gonna be another group like that for a while. Um, they just, they love each other. They truly are friends. And my hope for them is that they just transition from compulsory to optional gymnastics really well and take it in for all it's worth and have a really fun year in optional gymnastics.